Hi, I'm Rochelle. Let's talk about the hardware components of the LEGO Spike Essentials Kit. One of the first things you need to consider is how you're going to charge Spike Essential Hub. It's a good idea to charge your Dash robots and Spike Essential Hubs together, as shown here. You will find the micro USB port between the two input-output ports on the small hub. Before your next lesson, make sure the hubs are back into the kits or each student can collect one fully charged hub from the front of the room. It takes approximately three hours to charge hubs from empty to full. When the hub stays on, it drains the battery. The one button interface makes it easy to switch off the hub by holding down the button for 10 seconds. On the side of each hub, there is a sticker naming it by colour. This is really important so that when you join your devices, you can identify which hub you are trying to connect to. The LEGO Essentials Spike app comes pre-installed. You will need to install version 3 of the Spike app if using your own iPads, or you can access the browser version by typing spike.legoeducation.com into the address bar. In some instances, the kits may arrive from another school. You will need to allow time to sort out the LEGO pieces prior to use. The LEGO Technic Small Hub is slightly different to the LEGO We Do Smart Hub in that you don't need to worry about finding AA batteries. The hub is considered the brains of the operation and is a programmable control unit with a 32 megabyte RAM processor. The hub connects wirelessly via Bluetooth. It processes and transmits data through inputs and outputs. The range is approximately 10 meters. The button has a light indicator, which helps to identify when a connection has been made with your device. Other color-coded messages include, if the light is flashing orange, the hub's battery is running low, charge the device. The light is flashing red, there is an extended load on the hub. Turn off the hub and let it cool down for 15 minutes. The light is blue, the hub is connected to your device using BLE. Bluetooth, low energy. The light is white. The hub is connected to your device using a USB cable. The light is flashing white. The hub is waiting to be connected. The light is flashing violet, green or blue. The hub operating system has been updated and it's restarting. The two input output ports auto detect when sensors and motors have been plugged in. The hub has a built-in gyro sensor, which detects turning motions and can input and output data. When taking off the lid of the tub, you should notice an element list sitting on top of the trays. You don't want to throw these away, so tuck it under the box. This is to help you sort pieces into the correct trays and identify any pieces that are missing from the kit. Underneath are two white colour-coded sorting trays. There are 449 different LEGO pieces in each tub, so these sorting trays make things much easier to organise pieces. Each section has a coloured sticker. The storage bin is located under the white trays. Here you will find your hub among many other important elements. The colour sensor detects eight pre-programmed colours, matching the brick colours, and the intensity of reflected light. This sensor inputs data to the hub, allowing creations to react to their environment. Objects must be very close to the sensor, around one to two centimeters. This sensor can also be used as a light output. The color light matrix is a programmable LED display. Input code into the hub processor to individually program nine pixels. The color matrix can output 10 different colors for you to create patterns, animations and bring creations to life. Two small wheels and two large wheels can be fitted to the motor to build robots or vehicles and maneuver your Lego. Mini figures stimulate your imagination and help you to develop a narrative for real world projects. White base plates are a blank canvas for models and make build times much quicker. Two compact angular motors with rotation sensors input data from the hub and output motion. The kit has two building systems, the classic and the technic. The only way to connect the two systems is using the bridge pin or the white connector pin. 
In the classroom setting, it's important to pre-prepare your parts before starting a build. Hot tip, use the plastic lid. There is a lip around the outside which stops pieces from getting scattered across the room or getting mixed up with other tubs. Even when using the lid, some pieces will still disappear. Another hot tip is to put a plastic container at the front of the room for students to find missing pieces. At the end of the lesson, you want to allow some time for students to use the element list and put everything back in the kit as best you can. Spike replacement elements are at the bottom of the tub for missing parts. If you are missing any important elements, report an issue on our STEM T4L website under the PL and Support tab. We can't wait to see what you innovate and create within your teaching and learning programs. Please share your successes or questions on the Yammer and Facebook STEM communities.